are you? It's craft time. Hi. Exciting one. I'm working on something really cool. I started this, I don't even know when, but been working along at it. And by the way, I have a tea. Yes, I'm braving myself with a cup of tea. So as you can see, you know, how this sploshed and, you know, got my hand. Anyway, so this one, oh, what the, the fudge is this one? Um, Bengal Spice Celestial Seasonings, I think it's called. Uh, my mom had a sample. She's like, here, here's one. I'm like, I'll try it. I'll try it, but I, I, it's not a tea. I only did a half steep because it's like, ugh, the smell's like not my interest. All right. Tonight's the main cause is, check this out. So this I heat embossed using the construction zone paper. And look at that tools theme. And check out this inside accordion. This, I'm really loving this project. I need to put a phrase. So I'm keeping it really cool but simple for someone really special. So I need a birthday phrase or something or... Maybe birthday zone might do. Yeah, let's do that. So let's get the stamp out. Now, the, now if you've noticed in my crafting videos before, I usually use photopolymers. I don't normally use red clings, and that's what these are. And some of these I've never used because literally I just have never used it. So there. So you have to first thing using you gotta put them together. So this is a see, it's like a spongy foam. It, to be honest, stamping with these is really, really good. And I just remembered I need a tool in place for heat embossing. Because I freaking love heat embossing. Alright, but I also need this sheet. Because I've noticed if I put them back on the sheet after, they stick better. Because I find if I put them to the case, uh, I have trouble peeling them out later. So, I don't know. Just an issues I'm having personally with these things all right so that's that and then with the labels they're split in half to get the backings off oh yeah i'm totally off camera sorry <laughs> and during this video i'm gonna try that cup of tea and see if i barf <laughs> it's like well, I, well I, I, they, they were showing me the tea i'm like it's a, so the, the reason why they only bought it was because there's a tiger on the picture like really that's the only reason to bother that turns out she loves it hey good for her however it's not my interest okay so there's the stamp because i need to see the size so it's roughly one and a half by one okay very crucial because i need a piece of that gray cardstock to do up the phrase and i think i see the piece i need I got a sample piece. It will do. So I'm gonna paper trimmer. My tea is ready, but you know what? I want to at least get this step done before I make a mess. So if you heard me say one and a half by one, so let's get the half inch cut. I might just leave that little lip with the fold because there's a bit of a fold on here. I might just leave it. It just kind of gives a character, to be honest. All right, so that's done. I might need more, but hopefully we're good. So this cardstock, I believe, is Smoky Slate. I don't really know right now. I can't remember. <laughs> there's so many good cardstocks. So heat embossing. Here we go. We got prep. So I'm using black uh, powder. I'm using the Versamark ink. And it's super easy. It's like normal stamping. Now, this stamp's clear. We'll show you in a moment. So, ink that up quite nicely. It's got a lot. And ink on, you can't really see it, but it is on there. So, then on your piece of paper, stamp. So, you can kind of see it. It, it kind of gives a, you know, a neat look to it. Now, I can keep talking, but I need to throw the powder on there. There we go. And then shake some of the crap off. You know what? I kind of like the rustic look here. But I didn't prep the paper. So now I realize, yeah, doing cardstock is a lot harder to do. So then I'm just going to try to clean up some of this. 
and I don't mind if it's got that dirty look because I think the person who's getting it would love it so it just kind of gives a neat look to it but I can always try to tap it off Actually, I'm not sure if it all stuck on there. Let's find out. Let's heat it up and find out. I think something went wrong with it. I'm not good at this stuff. Because I kept... I spent too much time talking. Oh, it did work. I'm having a blonde moment. <laughs> Seriously, I'm having a blonde moment. It did work. So yeah, it, it does leave that residue of excess black, but you know what? It still looks really good with this card. It still works well. I need to get the embossing buddy, which is a little um, thing to help prep the paper. I don't have one. I need to get one. It's on my wish list. So now I'm just draining the rest of the powders back into the container. That way, next time I heat emboss, I still have lots of black. So I have currently all the heat embossing colors here. Because I super got into this technique earlier this year. Love it, love it, love it. And I usually just do another flip through to make sure I got all the powders. Because I use the same coffee filters for each, so sometimes I get a little bit of other color. I got a little bit of white and clear in there, but that's okay. <laughs> so that was lots of fun. Love that stuff. Versa Mark Ink works well. And yes, you do find you get powders everywhere, but that's okay. So I've got black, clear, white. I also have three metallics. I'm curious myself. Gold, silver, and bronze, maybe? I'll tell you in a moment. Alright, so gold, silver, and copper. There we go. Super, super cool. Alright, so I think I can do a little more assembly with this card now that we're getting somewhere. So essentially that, that, and that. And then this cool piece with a little bit of a fold on it. And really, that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm going for neat but simple because... I think this person's really going to love it. Alright, so now I need dimensionals. Because we're going dimensionals all the way on this one. I'm trying to pull them out. So then flip over. So this isn't the same gray, but that's okay. But it's still really, really cool. So I'm just going to dimensional up this card. And then we're close to calling it a night for this. And then this has progressed along. What I'll do is I'm going to do tags on the inside. But I'm going to wait till it's a little closer. till I figure out what I'm giving this person for their birthday. I can also slip in a gift card in here as well. Which is really, really neat. Making sure my dimensionals are good. Peel the caps. So because I'm doing a little better with my hand, I'm thinking back to heat embossing because I so had fun doing this today. This was awesome. When I had a little bit of time earlier this morning. Super awesome. And realizing it's easier to do heat embossing on the designer series paper than the cardstock. Because I think with the, the, the designer series paper, the paper is more smooth. So it rolls off easier versus cardstock has a little more porous with the teeth of the paper. So it does do something different. So then there we go. Super, super cute. And we're going to do dimensionals again. Love this card. Seriously. I still got to do the back of the card, which I forgot until now. Which I'll just do like, you know normal ink 
very shortly. And then birthday zone. Boom. Birthday zone. So super cool. I love it. Because I want to show the show of the card to be the embossing. Seriously. I wanted that to be a super feature. That is neat. And open it up. We've got this really neat hammer to hammer thing happening. I think he's going to love it. I seriously hope so. I, I love it. And then I'm just going to open this up. We're going to stamp the back in a moment. I'm not, I could do heat embossing, but I'm really not. <laughs> After a while, it's like, yes. The back, I just do normal. Because I expect sometimes... I like to think when I give out my cards, people actually keep them. I like to think that. But I also acknowledge, hey, not everybody's like that. So That was cool. Love that stamp set. All right. I'm going to put the paintbrush away. I'm going to put the heat embossing stuffs away for now. Because we're good till next round. I need my Angel Policy stamp, which is ready to go. I'm going to use basic gray just to finish the back. I could use black, but... Oh, I got a different idea. Different idea. I'm going to use the Versa Mark. How's that? Let's try it. Because that way I can actually see. So I'm just going to clean that stamp. I just put the wrong ink on it. Let's do the Versa Mark. Oh my God, that would be cool. Versa Mark ink is a lot stickier. Yeah, it definitely has an effect. All right, so here we go. There. Oh, oh, oh! I love the Versa Mark. Oh my God, that's cool. Maybe we'll do Versa Mark more often. Love it. Alright, now we can wrap this up. So yeah, I hope you love my birthday zone construction thingy. And then I'm getting chimed. Because I want to find out if my friend's doing her show tonight. Because I really want to know. Alrighty, well we're going to go. Have fun everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>